But this kind of a church would attract a lot of business. Whoever would see a city wall and whoever would see a tower that is twice the size as the city wall, they would know right away, I have never ever seen anything so tall in my life. And looking at this tower would give them the same feeling as for us looking at the tallest of the towers in the world. It, well, would attract your attention so well that you want to go there and see what is going on. Uh, there must be some fun to be had, there must be some business to conduct. But here's the catch. The moment you came into this town, you had to trade half of your goods with the locals. And you had to. You didn't have a choice. Well, so the people who were sailing back from well, India, from Sri Lanka, with their big ships full of spices, full of gold, they had to give, give half of it away. Now, a very simple question. What would you say, my lord, if I would have to ask for half of your life's earnings at the end of this journey? <laughs> oh my God. Well, he would say, oh my God. <laughs> well, he would say, oh my God, but God won't help you anymore. It's long gone. Uh, this is almost the same that people would have said back then. I would assume you would say no. So those people during those years, <clears throat> they, when they heard about the laws here, they said no as well. But the moment they tried to run away, when we sank their boat, we took their goods. <laughs> Not because we were cruel, but because this is how the medieval life functioned, we could say. This is how all the cities all around the world, when a, lo when a location was not profitable enough, you had to earn on the expense of others. You had to earn on the expense of the travelers who go through these lands. And even though we do not have many things to sell in this town, well, from Estonia or from these lands, then we had a lot of business going through. And it might be a bit cruel, uh, but you, we have to understand <coughs> this is something that well, happened all around the world in most of the major cities. And the bigger your city is from, uh, the bigger your city is where you're from, uh, the more well nasty kind of business most probably people conducted. If you had a lot of gold in your lands, I cannot blame you too much, but otherwise you had to get the gold from somewhere. So life was a lot different. But with the best kind of towers in the world, with the best kind of business almost, so so, then we had the best kind of entertainment as well. In these lands, the best kind of entertainment would have been rope walking. And the rope walkers would come from France, from Spain, to this town to perform a show of their lifetime up on top of the tallest of the stages in the world. <coughs> People would come, my lord, what was your name? Andreas. 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 Andreas, we will use the Estonian version. Andreas. Can you all pronounce it? Andreas? Andreas. 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 Very good. Think about it. You have a choice to be from Spain or from France or from London. Which you choose? Spain. Spain. <laughs> For performers, Spain is better. So now, you understand you're from Spain, you have traveled here for a few years, you're finally arriving, you see your stage up there waiting for you. You take a long piece of rope, you tie it to the tallest of the towers in the world, the other end of the rope you tie to the guarding city wall tower called the rope tower which was this way and sadly is not with us anymore. But now everyone who lived in this city would gather underneath the church Looking up there, there is you standing there, all confused, <laughs> ready to perform your show. And every one of you, we will have to shout his name real hard and real strong, so he would feel the motivation that is needed to walk on this road. So, Andreas, 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 Andreas. Well, I see with the bag it's very difficult to do. And as he's walking, we will hold our breath. <laughs> <laughs> and after a few steps, he would fall. Uh, he was very good at what he did, but a gust of wind, it's not because of you, it's because of the wind. <laughs> so you fell so for a good... Now we'll see Spain again. Uh, you now you will see Spain forever, my lord. <laughs> uh, so you would fall for a good 10 seconds, finally a splat, people all around you, clapping and cheering. And yet again, not because they were cruel, but because this was the greatest of the shows that has ever happened in these lands. This was the best kind of entertainment. We might think that this is a bit cruel yet again, but those people would have died in so many nasty ways. The main uh, idea was that nobody would ever know that you were God. But now you were doing the one thing that you love the most in this world, you fulfilled your lifelong dream, performing the grandest of the shows you have ever had, on top of the tallest of the towers in the world, with 5,000 people watching at your show, 
this was one of the greatest moments that anyone could enjoy during those years. So when you fell for good, then obviously it was your time to go and you could meet the management finally. <laughs> so, did every one of you understand what's the difference? Was it clear enough? In my opinion, it resembles a lot to Formula One. People drive a bit too fast nowadays for no particular reason. When they die, their name gets to go written down in the city chronics. But in a few hundred years, people will try to figure out why did you even need to drive that fast? <laughs> Just like we tried to figure out why do you even need to climb that high? Well, somebody has to be there, do it the first time, then it's not fun anymore. So, life has changed a lot throughout the last five, six hundred years, but this is just the beginning. Well, we have evolved tremendously since the beginning of the days, and we still don't know where we are going. So, plenty of stuff to discover. But at the moment, the only reason why we even know this kind of a, about this kind of a celebration is because whoever fell from the church, as mentioned, his name would be written down in the city chronics. And the list of names, there's not only a few names, there's a few, well, a few pages of them, we could say. Not a few pages, two pages full of names, but this is already a lot. This shows that, well, these lands were the center of attention here in the north at least. And people, well, people truly knew how to do business. But at one point, doing business all by yourself is not great and fun anymore. You have to come together, you have to work as one to truly make a difference. So they start to form guilds, and guilds, well, are associations where people gather together to conduct similar kind of business, if you still don't know what they were. But now I will show you a few as well. For it, we would need to go through the street where we would have spirits and ghosts. So if you hear your own name, don't turn around, it's already too late. 